Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. And today's video is going to be a re-release of a video that I did some time ago. And this is about the shocking electricity in this country of Thailand. And the reason for my re-release is you'll have all heard in the news last week of a tragic death of 15 people in a nightclub in Bangkok. And there's been several other fatal fires in Thailand over the past month or so. And this is just highlighting the the terrible electrics and standards of electrical work here in Thailand. Now I used to be a firefighter, I was a firefighter for 30 years in the UK and I also was an electrician, a fully qualified electrician in the UK also and our electrical standards were very 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 high in the UK compared to the art here in Thailand. Now I've, I've fixed a few people's electricity problems over here and even the electricity problems that I've got in my own house. And in the video I'll show you several examples of what's been happening with the Thai electrics in this country. My biggest shout out for people what they should get here is a smoke detector. Now we used to fit smoke detectors in people's houses all the time in England and we used to give them away for free because that saved more lives than having another 20 or 30 fire engines in our brigade because it's the early warning of fires that help you get out of the property. Now again, another reason for, for doing this video is because there was only one fire exit in the whole building. Now I'm talking about people living in residential properties here. Now I'm going to show you some pictures of my house. Look at these. We have security grills at every single window in the house. And this is the way out from our bedroom. So we'd have to go into the hallway through the kitchen, which is two locked doors. And the front, there's two locked doors also. So in the event of a, of a major fire, you would actually have no escape from the bedroom. So by having a smoke detector, this gives you early warning of anything that's gonna happen in your house. So anyway, a lot of this is explained in the video, but this is just a re-release from a video that I did a while ago. It is very shocking at the beginning of this video and it shows people escaping a fire in two properties and it's very horrendous. But I've seen this on numerous occasions and I know the tragic affairs of smoke inhalation. It's the smoke that will kill you long before the fire gets to you. So watch the video, watch and learn and go and get a smoke detector. Hello, Les from Thailand here and today's video is going to be about something that I know an awful lot about and the two things are fire and also electricity. I was a firefighter in England for 30 years so I've been to many 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 fires and also I had my own electrical business in England so I know a fair bit about electricity and the dangers of it also. Um, now today's video is going to be about the electrical safety in Thailand. So I'm going to discuss a few things about the electrical safety in Thailand and first of all we're going to show you this and we're going to talk about this a little bit later on um, but I'm going to show you a video first and it's quite a, a distressing video. People say I'd be able to smell smoke, I'd be able to get out no problems whatsoever. But this little video I'm going to show you is very distressing and, and people having to jump to save their lives. Now this was in daylight so people should have been awake but yet this fire originated from maybe the apartment below and it just spread. So it just goes to show that fire everywhere can cause danger to anybody and it might not be in your property but might be in somebody else's property. But the fact that it happens and the dangers of it and what I'm trying to say to everybody is get a smoke detector. If you get the smoke detector, it saves any of this whatsoever and you, you can make your escape very, very early. So, first of all, watch the little video. It's a scary video. I don't make any apologies for the seriousness of the video because this happens. I went to many, many fires during my 30 years in the fire service in England, so I've seen it all and I've seen some tragedy and I've seen some awful things within the 30 years and a lot of the problems can be caused by electrical short circuits and electrical faults 
and this is what we're going to discuss after the video so please watch the video see you after the video The video is very upsetting, yes, and it's distressing uh, but luckily it looks like the people survived from this one incident there are many incidents that I could have put on to YouTube with regard to the seriousness of fires how they developed I spent 30 years in the fire brigade so I've seen and I've seen a lot of them and a lot of them a lot of people died because they didn't have a simple smoke detector just like this less than 10 pounds it gives early detection of fires so please please go and buy a fire smoke detector they're cheap as anything you can get them off Lazada for about 150 baht 200 baht and you can get them from um, Thai what's to do or any DIY store so Thai electricity Thai electrics like you've seen in the first one this is a, a socket it was in a friend of mine's house because I'm an electrician I help one or two people out where I live with regards to electrics and give them advice and and help them to improve the electrics if need be every socket there is burnt out so he's had something plugged into there every time and he's just moved it along to various sockets because he keeps on working you'll also see the photograph of the the, the plug that was attached to the dryer now again here's another extension it's a cheap Chinese extension I'll show you the photographs of, of that one and the dangers of that one it's because the cables that go into the end of this socket you can twist them around like that so if, therefore if you twist them around eventually you could twist that right the way around and they're just going to pull out and in this particular this particular socket that's what happened it actually caught fire whilst I was at my friend's property and um, he plugged it in and the two cables stuck together and the most awful thing about it is that it never blew the fuse it never blew the fuse so if he grabbed all of that then it would have electrocuted him because the fuse didn't blow well, I'll come on to ba about this. You'll see some other photographs with regard to... Um, as, as you look at this and you think it's got the live and neutral and the earth. It's even marked with the earth there and the live and the neutral. Well, that doesn't mean nothing because there isn't any earths in this one. It's a cheap Chinese extension card that you can get from cheap Charlies and above. Stay away from them. They're dangerous. And other again there, there's another there's another socket that you plug into like a multi extension socket so you can put three or four items in there again I'll show you the photograph because the photographs more clear than that and another one I'll show you I'll put the photograph ab above so you can see they're all burnt out the reason why the sockets burnt out in Thailand is because the connections and the fittings are very very loose so that causes arcing and it burns the, the socket out. So what can you do to avoid these? Again, I'll put some photographs up here, the electricity board. That, that's where 
that's where the electricity comes to in the first place it comes to the fuse board and I've seen some properties even without a fuse board just one main fuse that just that just connects everything in the house I'm going to go through some other dangerous things that I've seen and I've altered here in Thailand whilst I've been here so let's start off with the fuse board and the first picture there you can see a normal fuse board now th this is the basic of basic fuse boards um, it has a main isolating switch which switches all the electricity off to all the fuses but that's not a safety cutout that's just an isolation switch and then all the fuses that you get your 16 your 20s your 32 and your 10 amps um, now they're all for different size ratings obviously um, and then the next fuse board up from that where you can fit a um, RCD residual current device now that flicks off if there's any problem with the electricity anywhere in the house and it just flicks off and it cuts everything off so that can be a little bit um, frustrating because if you have a problem with a light fitting or a, an iron or a heating tongue something like that it flicks all the electricity off and then you have to go through each circuit to identify what circuit is causing the problems and sort of the gold plated is the RCBOs residual current breaker they're separate breakers and that covers each individual circuit now that's like the gold standard of um, protection over here in Thailand and in the UK and that's what I would advise anybody to do but as a minimum I would say you've got to have a um, RCD fitted as a main circuit breaker or a main fuse and that actually switches all the, the power off in your house if there's a problem but again with earthing there's a lot of people don't have earths in this country and therefore that can cause problems in itself so it relies on a good earth for the RCD to work properly so I'm going to explain and put a picture up about what happened or what does happen over here and I've seen it three or four times and it's it's actually very very shocking as to what they do and very very dangerous also um, somebody had a, an old-fashioned fuse board and they wanted to upgrade it to a, a device where it had a RCD on the main breaker so actually if there was any faults it would cut off and whilst I was changing the fuse board um, I said to the lady I was going to disconnect all of the fuse board and so I disconnected everything and she said well why is my air conditioning on why is my air conditioning on Les and you've switched everything off why is that still working I didn't believe that couldn't believe what that I was working because I'd switched everything off by the main isolator and sure enough the air conditioning was still working so if you look carefully at the drawing I apologize for the drawing it, it's just a, a simple drawing that I did on, on my computer so as you can see from the meter the cables go to the fuse board and then from the fuse board goes to the light and the air conditioning units and the sockets and that's how it's supposed to go but the people who installed this air conditioning unit it was too far to run the cables to the fuse board so they decided to tap into the to the wires that actually go to the fuse board so unbelievably that means that that air conditioning unit wasn't fused there was no fuse so that would just go on and on and on until the main line circuit breaker breaks and that's a very very lot of electricity going to come through there before any faults that would certainly a hundred percent if there was a fault situation cause a fire within that property and to actually tap into the lines was was just so dangerous it was unbelievable and another story that I can tell you that I actually dealt with this myself as well because a, a friend of mine had a shop house and the electrics that somebody put in was just excuse the pun but shockingly bad so what they've done the cables that were running from the meter to the fuse board they tapped into them cables running from the meter before it gets to the fuse board and ran two floors of sockets and air conditioning unit and lights so there was no fusing whatsoever and again the only fuse that would happen 
to turn off is the main fuse on the main supply cables outside on the main street. The only way you could dis disconnect these cables was to actually disconnect it at the meter. And again, I ran a, a new set of cables in for him to the fuse board and then rewired everything in his house so everything was run off the fuse board. And it was an RCD that actually tripped any time there was any problems within the house. Tie electrics, it's so, so dangerous here. Be very, very careful as to what work you get done and make sure that it's done properly. So the next picture that you're gonna see is, I just wanted to extend a socket. I wanted some um, sockets in my greenhouse so I could activate the pumps for the, for the system in the greenhouse. So the nearest socket, I actually connected to the nearest socket, but ho lo and behold, as soon as I open the socket up, three red cables. So now one's supposed to be live, one's supposed to be neutral, and one's supposed to be earthed. As you can see, three red cables. So obviously I did my test and found out which was which, and then I just wired it off from there. But again, those people who don't really know what they're doing as far as electricity is concerned, which one is earth, which one's neutral, and which one's live, it's so, so dangerous. There's some other photographs here I'm going to put up for um, the decay of light fittings and a friend of mine asked me to put some garden light fittings in for him but as you can see the small cable they don't do waterproof joint, joints here so invariably the Thai people just twist them together and put some tape over it and that's their waterproof connection I don't do that I took the old cable out even though it was only maybe four or five inches long and put them a new cable so it goes straight from the light fitting straight to the junction box that I've connected the light fittings into. But again, you can't even trust the light fittings to be made up properly. Here's another photograph and if you look very, very carefully, you've got the blue in the live and the brown in the neutral. Totally wrong way around. Does that really matter in Thailand? Yes, it does because if you put it the wrong way around and it's a screw fit in, it means the outer ring is live. So potentially when you put your hand on that bulb to screw it and if you touch the metal fit and you haven't switched the electricity off, you could get an electric shock. Whereas if it's wired up correctly, the center pin where the, the bulb screws into, that's the only live part. So as you're unscrewing the bulb, you're taking it away from the live connections. Very, very dangerous if it's wired up in the wrong position which obviously this one was and that's from the factory the factory sent it out like that but it was wrong so as you can see there are many many dangers within the electricity in Thailand so take care be very very careful very careful at doing your own electric be very careful as to who you get to do your electric make sure that they know what they're talking about here's another couple of examples that this cable was by a tradesman working at a friend of mine's house. Now he ran his grinder off this. Look at the state of that socket. If you pick that socket up and that cable is loose, then you're going to get an electric shock. It's, it's taped together, wired together. And here's another photograph of, a, of an extension cable. Just people were running a normal fan off there. The cables could easily come out of the, the holders and you could get an electric shock once that's plugged in. So people treat electricity over here in Thailand with scant regard. So no wonder there's that many electrocutions and electrical accidents here in Thailand. So I hope you got some benefit from this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Leave your comments down below and hopefully subscribe. That would be nice. That will help my channel along. Please don't be scared that fires are going to happen. They are still quite rare. But as you can see, through looking at photographs like this, they do happen and it is dangerous and it can happen to anybody. So take care. Be safe. From Les, living the dream in Thailand. Until the next video, bye for now.